Hey there friends, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate. And welcome to Classroom Setup Part 2. Um, or at least day three. I'm pretty sure this will be days three and days four. So if you didn't already see my first classroom setup video for this year, I will have that linked down below. It was just days one and day two. So I just called it part one. Um, and I got all of this done and some other things that you can't see in the frame right now. But I have started in on my classroom. I am going to be a second year, second grade teacher here in Northern California. And I taught kindergarten at this school last year and now I'm moving up to second grade. So I have have quite a blank slate in this classroom um, but the teacher that was here before retired so she did leave me a good bit of stuff um, but some of it I'm just kind of still sorting through and figuring out like what it is where it is where I want to keep it and how I want to organize it so a good bit of my day today is just gonna be like organization and that's not super fun to watch. So I'll probably show you like a before and after of my storage closet and like a before and after of like the really messy areas and then show you what I'm thinking for organization. But um, there is some classroom setup that I'm also doing today in terms of like cute decor and like bulletin boards and stuff. Um, and the good news is I know exactly what I want to do for that. So I'm gonna turn you around, show you what I'm working with right now, um, and then we'll jump into this video. So if you like classroom setup videos or if you like teaching content um, and some lifestyle content too, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. You can hit the red button down below. If you wanna be notified of every time I post a new video, you should hit the notifications bell so that way you don't miss an upload. You can also find me on Instagram, it's just Golden State Educate. And I'm so excited to have you here as part of the Golden State Educate family. So let me show you what we're rocking with this morning. Okay, so here is the true reality of classroom setup. So I have already finished this whole wall over here. Um, and you can see my last classroom setup video if you want to see like what is going on over here. And I decided I'm probably gonna save this whole area. This is gonna be my library and tech area. I'll probably save that for classroom setup part three just because I'm not totally there yet. I'm not there yet with that. Um, so as you can see, I have a ton of boxes, um, kind of just all of this is my stuff. Some of it is the previous teacher's stuff. I still have all of this back here. I'm not sure what it is. Also, my AC is really loud, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do with all of these like boxes of curriculum and where I want to put them. I have this storage closet back here that I have been kind of pulling things out of all morning. Um, so it's looking less crazy kind of than it was before. I have a whole plan for this area. So yeah. This is what we're working with right now. My goal is to do some organization for the next like hour or so. And then I'm going to tackle this area. Again, not sure why all of this equipment is still here. I need someone to come take it out, but I'm gonna be doing this whole wall today. And then I'm also going to be doing this wall today. And I might start on my affirmation mirror that I'm pretty sure is gonna go right here. So that's what we have so far, my hot mess of a classroom, but at least part of it is cute. So that's good. We're almost, you know, we're kind of getting somewhere. Okay. So I spent the last like 45 minutes or an hour just kind of going through everything that I have, figuring out like how I want to organize it and where I want it to go. Um, but the problem is I don't have like all the containers for it. Like I don't have all the sticker light containers or like the organization containers that I want um, to actually like make the organization happen. So it's just kind of still in piles all over the place. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Walmart later today to get some like school supplies, like boulders and everything. So I'll just get those later and then maybe finish organizing that tomorrow. But for now, I'm moving on to another like clean area of the classroom. So I cleared out this whole space and I'm gonna work on this back bulletin board right now. So I have this bulletin board and then I also have this big one over here that I talked to you guys about. Um, so because they're so close together, I'm just kind of figuring out what paper I wanna do. 
So because I have so much of this white one and that wall is so big, I think I'm just gonna do white for the big wall. And then I have some brown left over. I have some of the brown that I used on my anchor turret wall. And then I also have like a little roll of it too because I bought this one originally at Michael's and then I found this bigger one at Target um, and that one's almost done. But I think they're like basically the exact same color brown. So I'm not too worried about like puzzle piecing it together. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna do brown on this wall and then white on the big wall. Um, and then this one is gonna be our class as a family. That's what it's gonna say. I printed out the letters and I cut them and everything and laminated them and they are drying outside right now because I sprayed them with the matte spray paint. Um, so basically what we're gonna do with this wall is this is where our class like pictures are gonna be. I was so bad about taking pictures when we finally came hybrid um, last year. So I'm really hoping to take a lot of pictures of my kiddos and get them printed out and then hang them up. It might be one of those things where I'm really good about it at first and then we just have like the same pictures up all the time, but I'm hoping to make that a goal of mine because I have like no pictures of my first class. So I wanna have pictures of this next one. So I'm gonna do brown bulletin border. I'm not sure about the paper just yet, or I'm not sure about the border just yet, but we'll see. And then I'll have the colorful words and then I'm gonna string some like twine probably um, and little paper clips, or not paper clips, um, clothes pins. So hopefully that looks really cute. Um, and yeah, let me just show you what that one's gonna look like. And then we'll move on to the big one over there. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. up the brown I ended up just using all of the smaller roll just because it was easier than trying to like puzzle piece two different papers together so I don't love how I had to overlap it so many times but I do think that if I could just get like some double sided tape and stick it underneath it it'll look fine and then the other problem is that I really like all of my bulletin borders and like all of my bulletin boards to match so I already did the white or the brown with the white doodle border. So now I kind of feel like I need to continue to use the doodle border on the brown because the bulletin border that I have for the white paper, I want it to be the same on all the white bulletins. And then the bulletin board paper or bulletin board border that I have on the black one, I want it to look the same on all the black ones. So I don't actually have enough of the doodle border. I only have four strips of it. So. I'm gonna see how far this will get me. It'll probably only get me like part of the top and part of the bottom. Um, so that's not ideal, but it's okay. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like. All right. So that's literally all I have of the white border and the doodle border, which is so annoying because I really just need like, like four more strips of it. And of course I hate leaving like half finished projects. So I'm really on the fence about if I should go drive like 25 minutes to go get border. Uh, I don't know. Well, friends, I did it. I did just drive 30 minutes to go get this border, and I will drive 30 minutes back and go hang it up, and that's fine. It's honestly fine. I'm not surprised at all. This is so, like, classic. Um, so yeah, I got more border. Let's go hang it up, finish that bulletin board, hang another bulletin board. We are on our way. About you, I like. I get too drunk and too scared and Here it is. It looks so good. I'm honestly thrilled that I went and got the, got more border because I would have been sad if it was like unfinished. So here is the bulletin. It matches these and I love that. Um, and then this is what I'm gonna put on it. So I 
printed these out and then laminated them and cut them out last night. So it says our class is a family. And then this is where, like I said, we're gonna put pictures of us. I'm gonna print out pictures that I take throughout the year and hang them up here. Um, and then I'm gonna have a task of figuring out how I want these words to go. I wasn't sure if I just wanted them to go across, like literally just our class is a family, um, or if I wanted to do like part of it up here and then part of it down here, like our class, I don't know, who knows? I'm gonna play around with it, you'll see. Um, and then I'll show you what it's looking like when it's done. And I think this is like really cute. My one thing is that this is where our small group area is gonna be. So hopefully this won't be like too distracting, but I think that like, because the kids can literally look at it all the time, I don't think it will be that distracting. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. stapled it yet. I haven't stapled it in yet but I just kind of figured out how I wanted them situated I might need to move some of the letters up when I staple it um, but it looks really cute I'm really excited about it but I think the colors are really happy they look really cute on this board and then um, all I'll have to do is string some twine up here and then um, put on the little clothespins, but I'm really excited with how this has turned out so far. I have my little um, clothespins, but I can't find the twine. I have literally no idea where it is in all of this mess. So I'm going to need to try to find it or just like run over to Target and get some more. But yeah, I'm going to have, I'm not sure if I want to do just two or maybe three rows and then I will put clothespins on it. But for now, I'm going to change track and go onto this wall. So this is gonna be our brightest work wall. So this is gonna be like our work display. I am on the fence about what to call it. In my kinder class, I called it our brightest work and I thought that was really cute. Um, and I really liked that. So I might do that again. I might do something different. I know like wow work or wonderful work is cute. Um, but we'll see. I had a border from the Target dollar spot last year. Let me see if I can find it. So I had this border from the Target dollar spot last year. One side is yellow, one side is black and white. Um, so I kind of still like our brightest work and I have so many of these from last year. I still have like four full sleeves of them. So I think our brightest work could be kind of cute. It's gonna be on a gigantic board and it's gonna be white. So I don't know how I feel about using the white side, but I also don't have any other yellow border. So I don't know how I feel about doing the yellow border. First things first, I'm gonna measure it out. I'm gonna cut out the white paper and get it up there. And then once it's up there, I can kind of figure out what I want to do. The other thing you guys is this wall is so tall I don't even know like the full dimensions of it but like if you can see how massive this ladder is and like the wall is still bigger than that so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this because I want it to take up like obviously a good bit of the wall but at the same time like if I'm going to be hanging student work up there I need to be able to like get to the top to like hang it up there so as much as I clearly enjoy doing like very large bulletins um, I like them to cover like a good bit of the wall I feel like it just looks weird when part of the wall is covered and part of it isn't um, I'm just gonna have to figure out what I want to do with this legitimately massive wall okay so I'm just trying to map it out because obviously this wall is very tall um, if you can see this giant ladder like doesn't even reach the top of it So I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to make this space like Accessible for me because I am not going to be climbing all the way up there to hang student work It's just not gonna happen. So I'm just kind of trying to map it out on this space right now. Our school caps out at um, 24 so I guess I'll just put 24 spots and then if for some reason I get more kids I'll have to figure out what to do about that but I can fit this is not the color that I'm using but I have these extra from last year this color is like so bright I can't believe I had it all over my room last year um I still like it but like it's definitely a lot so 
I'm thinking I can fit six, four rows of six. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to figure it out and like map it out. But the colors that I want to use are this blue color, this pink color, so it's like a lot more toned down, and then definitely this orange as well. And then there's a blue in here that I also kind of like. I might also do this blue color. Okay, so it seems like this will work. I'll do six squares and then four across. So it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a big board, my friends. Um, and then I'll probably just cut it off like a little bit from the top and then... We'll see. I'm still torn on brightest work or not, or if I'll even have enough room on this little board to write brightest work, but I'm going to get to work on hanging up the white one. This wall is like very large and intimidating, but um, it will get done <laughs> one way or another. We'll see. And almost left town, but there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. Cannot express to you how long it has taken me to hang this like this is the biggest wall I think I've ever attempted and wow just wow I just oh my god I need to <laughs> there's really just this large piece and then these two skinny pieces and then I honestly just put like a regular piece of paper down there because it's like all the way at the bottom and I just can't be bothered here it is the wall of death and then now I'm gonna try to figure out the borders okay guys so I'm trying to figure out what to do about the border situation like I said I want all of my borders to be the similar so I'm hesitant about using this one because it won't be anywhere else, but we'll see. I had originally planned on doing this white border and then this black one underneath it, just to kind of pop, similar to how I did the black borders if you watched my last video. Um, I have black paper with a white border underneath and then a black border on top. Um, just so it's not black on black and so this one's not white on white. I was going to do black underneath it. Um, but yeah, so I could also do this or this. But my one problem is that this border is so small and this one is a lot bigger. So like I can cover more of the wall with this one. And after it just took me like almost an hour to hang the paper, I'm just not feeling like doing a billion little tiny pieces of border. So I think I'm leaning more towards my original idea. So let's see how it goes. It is hung. It looks awesome. Actually, I'm really excited about this um, like border combo. I think it's gonna look really good. I tried to staple the white paper down like a little bit more every time that I put up a border. So it's looking a little bit more flat. Um, so yeah, here is the whole situation. I'm realizing I need to lift up that bottom corner a little bit, but yeah, here is the work display. So basically, I had originally planned on doing four across and six down, but I didn't account for the thickness of the border. So four, it might look like two will fit there, but they won't. So only three fit all the way across. So I'm just kind of like really overdoing this board, but I had a feeling that this was gonna be like this. So yeah, I'm just taking a break <laughs> for a second. Uh, to figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm hoping that I can do pink, orange, blue, blue, and then keep going pink, orange, blue, blue, and then I'll have eight rows, or three rows of eight, hopefully. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. that this wall is so big and I still can't manage to fit that stuff on it is so annoying right now. Just barely 
not big enough. So I'm almost thinking I just need to like put it to the top um, and just fully, fully fill the whole wall. I'm actually not very thrilled right now. Like it's gonna look good when it's done. But for some reason, this bulletin board has taken me like over two hours at this point. Guys, this wall is so big. I've now broken out the ladder. Um, and remember when I said I didn't want them to be too high so that way I could like reasonably go change out the student work? Yeah, well, as you can see, the very top of the ladder is where it is. So this ladder obviously is not going to stay in my classroom. And I obviously cannot reach all the way up there to put student work on display. It's not fun. <laughs> so classroom setup is not glamorous. Classroom setup by yourself with a gigantic wall is not glamorous. And lie you, if only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better. Update this wall is 10 feet. Um, so let me just zoom you out so you can really get the full effect. Trying to get eight pieces of paper all the same like distance apart is really difficult, I'm finding. I've moved this row a million times and it still looks like it starts to get crooked at some point. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I don't know. I've literally moved it maybe seven or eight times. So I'm just gonna start like doing the next couple of rows and maybe it'll like figure itself out. Yay, oh my gosh, I did it you guys. It's up, it's up. It's honestly a little bit, I know it's not perfect, I know, I really do. And I know that there's so much space on this side and there's not as much on this side. And I might spend some time another day moving them over, but I am happy that it's at least hung up again I know it's not perfect I'm a one-woman show like I'm literally it's just me trying to do this but honestly I think it looks really good for my honest attempt like I said this ceiling is 10 feet I am five foot seven so the highest one I can like feasibly reach is this blue one right here for those ones I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do I probably will just pull over a like desk and hang stuff up there clearly I will not be changing this out as often as you know I maybe could if they were easily accessible but it does look really good I can't believe I took up the whole wall with that hey there friends so it's actually the next day now I am working on classroom setup part three and I was editing this video last night and I realized it seemed weird to um, like not show you the completely finished product. So I did a couple more things this morning on my bulletin board back here and also on my wow work bulletin board. So I wanted to show these to you before I ended this video. So that way you guys can just see the real final product of what it is ending up looking like at this point. I added the twine and the clips and then I also just kind of moved all the pieces over on the bulletin board. I feel like I was just so frustrated with it yesterday. I just needed to like leave and walk away from it. And then this morning I was like ready to fix it. So let me show you what that's looking like before I end this video. Here is the R class as a family. I just started with two ropes or two like pieces of twine. I have a whole roll of it so I can always add like two, one or two more if I want to. But yeah, I just got this white twine or like a light colored twine so that way it kind of stands out against the brown and then I just have white clothes pins. So like I said, that is where we will put our pictures of our class. And then over here, I ended up moving the pieces over a little bit. So I moved all of these pieces over so that way there is four inches between the border and the paper. And then over here, there's actually five inches between the border and the paper, but that's fine. And then between the two rows, there is two inches between every single one. So it's not totally perfect, but I'm way ha more happy with it today than I was yesterday. And then I was thinking about how I could still do bulletin board letters and then I thought of these. So I just made these on uh, PowerPoint and I printed them out, laminated them, and then I'm working on getting these hung up right now. Okay, so final product, this is how it's looking. I think it actually turned out really cute. I'm not mad about it whatsoever. And then this one is also looking really cute. Just really excited about these colors. 
and just how everything has turned out. The last thing that I need to do is actually glue on the white paper clips up here, just so that way I can uh, actually hang their work really easily, but I'm probably not gonna do that right now, but this is what it looks like. All right, my friends. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. It is 5.30. I told myself that I was only gonna be here from nine to three and it's 5.30. So I'm ready to go. As predicted, that bulletin board took way longer than I had initially anticipated. So there it is, my literal blood, sweat, and almost tears. I didn't quite cry, but I almost did. Here we are, classroom set up part two. I will turn you guys around, show you what my classroom is looking like so far. Um, we still have like 10 days before school starts, so I still have a lot of time to get things together and get things like actually make it so that way it's a functional classroom. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the red button down below, subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it, and leave a comment down below. The more you engage with this video, the more I can interact with you all. And then YouTube will also know that you are enjoying the video and it will push it out to other people and grow the Golden State Educate family. Stay tuned for Classroom Setup Part 3 coming really soon. I am going to be tackling my library for the next two days. So fingers crossed I can have that up for you guys very soon. I'm super excited about my library so I hope that it can come together in the way that I want it to and then after that I'll probably still need to have like one or two setup videos for the rest of my student center and my teacher area and like the rest of my front board so there is a lot of classroom setup coming thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye everyone